Now next you see this particular area which I am highlighting here C equals to C plus 1 that means for that particular moment of time the loop will going to execute as the loop is going to execute then when it find it is C equals to 2 plus 1 is 3 that means it will come out from here and it will going to do this particular print now you are outside the loop okay so this is how the while loop will going to work. Now let us see the next program. Now let us close this and uh, see the next program. What the next program is. So uh, next program you see this particular program. Here I have used while and if. Okay. If and while loop has been used for conducting or running the program. So how it is. First n equals to input the number, you are taking the number from the user, c equals to initialize c equals to 0, i equals to 1. Now while n is less than equal, i is less than equals to n, if it is so, then it will come inside the loop till the condition is satisfied. So if n divided by i equals to equals to 0, if it is so, then c equals to c plus 1. Okay, else what? i equals to i plus 1. So if this condition is not there, what you will see, c equals to equals to 2. If it is so, then what it will do? It will come out and it will print this part. If it is not so, it will do the else part. So let us run the program and see what the output it is giving to you. Enter the number. Suppose I enter the number 8. 8 is a prime number. Again, I run the program. Let us again run the program. Now enter the number. Suppose 9. 9 is not prime number. That means what it is doing as soon as it is taking the value, it is comparing whether the value of n is less than equals to or greater than equals to i. That means value of i is less than equals to n or not. What is an i value? i value is 1. So, 1 is less than 9. Yes. Then what it will do? It will come inside. So, 9 divided by i. Isn't it? i means what? 1. Equals to equals to 0. If it is so. If this divided by uh, equals to 0, then what c value is increasing? c equals to c plus 1. Okay. Then what it will do? Then it will come here i equals to i plus 1. So i value is also increasing. After completing this middle word, what it will do? It will increase the value of i. Now i value became 2. 2 is less than 9. Yes. Then again it will enter. Again it will going to check the thing. Okay. Again 2 plus 1 means 3. The 3 is less than 9. Yes. 4. Then 3 plus 1 will be 4. 4 is less than 9. Yes. Then 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 is less than 9, yes, then 5 plus 1 is 6, similarly when it come 8 plus 1 means 9, 9 is less than 9 or 9 is less than equals to 9, yes, then also it will going to do the work. Now when it come 9 plus 1 means 10, 10 is less than equals to 9, no, it will quit out from here. So what it is storing here? As the time it is going there, that means it is dividing the value and it is getting whether it is 0. If it is 0, then c equals to c plus 1. So now this particular check is been doing. doing. What is c equals to 2? That means c equals to c plus 1 means what was the first value of the c? Okay. The first value of the c is 0. Then 0 plus 1 is 1. Then again 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, so this way it will going to do the work. So as soon as it do the work, what it will going you will going to find that this is going to satisfy. So as it is satisfied, so it is saying that yes, it is a prime number. But if it is not satisfied, then it will say it is not a prime number. So what it is showing? Eight is not a prime number. Nine is not a prime number. Why? Because C value is increasing here. As soon as it is going inside the loop, first time it is what? 0 plus 1 is 1. Next time it again enter 0 plus uh, 1 plus 1 is what? 2. So again it will enter. Then 1 plus what? 3, 2 will be 3. 
So similarly, C is increasing. The C in this particular.